Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're going to be doing something really cool. So my friend Nancy invented this awesome shadow box gift card holder and I told her she just had to make a video. But she really wasn't up for doing the voiceover. So you're going to see her hands and then my voice in this awesome collaboration video. And I'm so excited to show you guys this really cool shadow box. So the first thing we're going to do is trim down some perfectly plaid Christmas paper to 6 inches by 12 inches. And we're going to use Lawn Fawn's goodie bag die to die cut two pieces out of this pattern paper to form our bag. Now once we have two pieces, the next thing we're going to need to work on is the window opening for the shadow box. So we're going to take a 2.5 inch stitch square frame die to die cut a window from one of the goodie bag pieces. So I'm going to hold that in place with some post-it note tape and run it through the die cut machine and now we'll have a nice opening. Now to create a finished edge for that opening we're also going to use that same stitch square frame die to cut some peacock cardstock and we're going to add that to the box later. But the first step is actually going to be to cut some acetate. So we're going to cut a square of acetate and that acetate is going to be 2 and 15 16 square inches. So you're going to trim that down and then add some adhesive to the back side of that goodie bag surrounding that window opening. So we're going to run some adhesive all around all four edges and then add that square of 2 of 15, 16 inches of acetate right there. And really, you could just eyeball it and trim it based on your opening. And then we're going to add some adhesive to that stitch square frame and put that right in there. And I just love that finish edge that it gives. And I love the look of acetate on a project. It just really looks like a window. I just think it's so, so cool. Next up, we're going to work on the interior shadow box part of this project. So we're going to take some paper from Perfectly Plaid Winter and we're going to trim it down to 4 inches by 3 inches. And so this is going to be creating that little interior part. So then we're going to go ahead and score at 1 inch up. So you'll see there. We're just going to score right there and this is going to be the line that we're going to line up our pop-up dies with. So here we have the small little half inch by half inch pop-up and you'll see that it has two little triangles on the outer edges and we're going to line up those little triangle points with that score line that we just created. Then we can use some post-it note tape and hold that in place and run it through our die cut machine. And you can kind of just eyeball where you're going to put this die. Just put it a little bit inside from the edge about half inches in and it's going to be perfect. So we're going to run that one through and that's going to create one pop-up die and then we're going to repeat that on the other side. Once again, just eyeballing it, lining up those two little triangles with the score line, holding it in place with some post-it note tape, and then running it through the die cut machine. And this is going to create two pop-ups to hold our shadow box together. Now that both pop-ups are cut, we can go ahead and push those pop-ups through to create two little stair steps that are going to hold our snowy hill. So we're going to trim a piece of white cardstock to 3 inches wide and then die cut it with a stitched hillside border and then work on the rest of our critters for this scene. So first we're going to stamp this little Christmas tree from Cheery Christmas in some jalapeno ink. We'll die cut that with the coordinating die and then stamp out the deer, bird, and star from this really, really cute set. And then we'll use some Copic markers to quickly color in these images. I love how Nancy laid down all of her light color first to really wet the paper and make it easier to blend all of these together. She's going to create a cute little red bird adding the shadow to the bottom part of the bird and then a nice golden star with just a little bit of darkness towards the bottom of that star. Then you can go ahead and use the coordinating dies to die cut all of these images out. And I love holding them in place with post-it note tape before I run them through my die cut machine. And then one of my favorite things ever is popping out these images out of the dies. They just look so cute all die cut like that. And now we have everything to create our scene. So we're going to move on now back to the goodie bag. So we're going to add some score tape here to the outer edge little tabs here of the die on both sides. And then we're also going to add some tape to the bottom. And right now all we're going to do is remove the liner tape of the bottom part of the goodie bag and we're going to line both of these together creating a T shape. 
Then the next step is to remove the liner tape on those top tabs on either side. So we're just going to remove that one liner tape and then form the box so that that way we're just forming the back of the box and we're not doing anything with the window side of the box yet. So then we're going to remove the tape on that other side and once again just form the back on the box and not remove any of that liner tape that's close to the window side of the box. We are doing this so that we can add our pop-up before we form the whole bag. So now the next step is to add some tape runner to those little pop-ups that we created earlier so that we can adhere that fun little snowy hill to them. So we're just going to add some tape to the bottom part of those pop-ups and adhere that snowy hill right on there. Now next we're going to be very careful with where we place the adhesive. We're going to put adhesive all over the base part, so that one inch scored section of the pop-up, they're going to have adhesive all over that. Then we're going to flip this whole scene over and on the tall part where the scene actually is, we're going to use some score tape just on the outer edges. And you're going to see why that is later. This is what's going to create our cool gift card pocket. But we're just going to add that tape, as you can see there, right to the outer edges. Now we can remove the liner tape of those two strips that we just added and then we're going to be carefully inserting this whole pop-up mechanism into our box. So you'll see there that back side of the box that we already formed, this is going to fit perfectly in there. So you're just going to slide that in carefully and then adhere the base and those outer edges to the back of the box. And you'll want to press down really well and make sure you're really on top of it, making sure that everything lines up perfectly. And then you can go ahead and start forming your scene. So we're going to adhere that tree down there. And then we're also going to create this cute little stack of critters. So we're going to adhere the bird to the top of the deer's head and then use a small glue dot to adhere that star to the bird's little hand there. And then we can add this stack of critters to our cute scene. And I love that you could create all sorts of different scenes in this, not necessarily Christmas, but all year round. So now that we've got our scene perfectly set, we can finally remove the liner tape on those last two tabs and form the rest of the box. So we're just going to carefully line up both of those edges and this is going to create the shadow box look. So you'll see how awesome this is when you line it up. I just love it because you're looking into the window into this cute snowy scene. Now Nancy's next step is even more brilliant. Because she put that tape just on the outer edges into that pop-up mechanism, it actually is going to perfectly fit a gift card in there. So she's taking some cute red stripe washi tape, but you can use any cool washi tape from your stash, and she's going to decorate the top of the gift card. And you're going to see why in a second, but this is such a great way to make your gift card fit your cute packaging. So she's just going to wrap that all the way around and then just trim off those edges so it has a nice clean look. And then she'll take the gift card and place it in the back of the shadow box. And this is perfect for a gift card or even a little note too. And you'll see because she put the washi tape on top, it kind of peeks out out of the top so that someone knows to pull it out. But it's also decorated and matches the scene too. And so I am just so in love with this idea. I think it's so cool and clever and a really fun way to use pop-up dies. So here is a look at Nancy's cute little gift box. And I also wanted to show you another version she did with other critters from Cherry Christmas. But this idea could be used year round with all sorts of different stamps. It's just so sweet and we cannot wait to see what kind of awesome shadow boxes that you guys create. So make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.